<sighs> are we on? We are on. <laughs> Again, and for the last time. I feel like. At least for tonight. I feel like a thing that happened is this got closer, or our okay. heads got bigger. <laughs> All right. This is an app workout. Don't mind us. We're going to lounge it back in the tub. <laughs> like this, real quick. Yeah. It's, an, it's a core workout slash yeah. tile thing. So here we are, like not at all sitting comfortably. Um, but we did finish, as you can see behind us, all of the tile. All of the tile is now done. Um, That's such except a lie. For, except for... <laughs> <laughs> all of the tile is not, in fact, done. Do you want to know why? Because one of the two of us is very bad at math. <laughs> <laughs> and we got all the way done to that there tile and we are fucking out of tile that is bull nose appropriately for that so we are not in fact done yeah so we are going to be finished for now i didn't actually get to reach my goal of finishing this project <laughs> it's like it's such torture <laughs> i went to work today went to my actual job and she stayed here and tiled while i was gone yep. i said i was going to and uh, no satisfaction of finishing the project <laughs> such bullshit <laughs> but you know that's what sometimes happens it sometimes you go through the whole shit and one final piece doesn't work and that's what happens when you push off a project for like five months. I mean, so what's going to happen more than likely in a situation like this, or at least it, it would happen in my house, is that I would get this far and then I would get no further for like five months. I feel like I am now, this is far enough though for me to finish it off. Really? You think so? I mean, well, someone should take bets. Can they start like a betting pool on if I finish this in mm -hmm. the next two weeks slash months? Well, I mean, <laughs> what are you willing to wager? <laughs> what should she wager, guys? I feel like it's like... <laughs> I am so tired right now. I don't even have any of my normal vocabulary at all. It's mostly yeah, just see, laughing. See, and... this is what I've done as a house guest. I've exhausted my host. Um, I forced her into a project that she doesn't want to, that she didn't want to do. I wanted and to do it. At, <laughs> I did, at midnight. It's, it's tired. <laughs> <laughs> the difference is because I, we were up late periscoping last night to the wee hours of the morning. <laughs> <laughs> not yeah, taking that's that a bet. sucker that's bet. That's a pretty good idea <laughs> not to take the bet. Um, because chances are, if we bet uh, if we bet hard enough, she would get motivated just out of... If she, enough people told me, I don't know. Just out of sheer know. determination, like, no, nah, you're not going to do it. No, nah, you're not going to do it. The thing is, it's close enough now that I do want to like see it done, but it's not cold enough to motiva motivate me to do it so I can take a bath. That's going to be the thing. I'm going to get cold and then want to soak in the... You don't know about this because you live down south, but it gets like... Mm -hmm. You actually need to sit in the tub to thaw yourself out from turning mm -hmm. into a human popsicle. Yeah. I mean, what I were we talking we... about just now? I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You start rambling and I'll stop paying attention. We, <laughs> so we were talking about... Oh. Oh, well, we were working up late last night, right. right? But then I had to work this morning, mm -hmm. and I had to drive. I drove, and I drove my truck into work. I work an hour away, and then my truck wouldn't start. So I got up this morning early and jump-started my truck and then went to work and then came back. Yeah. Which is why my face looks like this. My face just looks like this. Your face looks pretty. My face just we, looks this like this. is what we determined during the last one. When well, I was screenshotting it, makeup on and I was time. like... Why does Sarah look fucking like a model in Aww, every single screenshot? So nice. And my face is like She's a cartoon nice. character. She's too nice. No, we both get we both get extremely animated faces. I think that's what makes it entertaining. I do. Because we both go. I was I was animated by this last night. This is by everything except for what's left in that model. That made this morning fun too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, those of you that are just joining, we'd love to hear from where you guys are. From because I'm not always sure how scattered everybody is, but that would be kind of cool. Um, so if you want to just tell us and say hi, because I'm normally from Atlanta and we're in Michigan right now. Currently in the middle of nowhere. Alberta, Michigan. Canada. Yeah. I've never just, been. I was just gonna do a, the Canadian accent, but then I remembered all the accent things we did, and I feel like that could be a good. We had some fun with quick. accents. We had some, oh Indianapolis. Okay. Western cool. Colorado. Western Colorado. Nice. Awesome. So we had, um, we had... Bowmanville, Canada. 
Look, I've never heard of that. Canadians. Erie, Pennsylvania. Erie, PA, okay. Um, Shout out from middle of nowhere, Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> and Atlanta, sort of. Um, yeah. Yeah, um, suburb of Atlanta. East of Toronto, okay. Uh -huh. You're not too far from here then. Well, that's a lie. That was just a lie. I mean, it's I mean Toronto is the place you go from here that feels like it's in Canada and not that far, but okay. <laughs> was, so I'm not, good with, I'm not good with math or geography when I'm done. Glad to have you back. Um, let's see. Center, Center of Mexico. Mexico. Oh, cool. Okay, I'm staring dumbly at the camera. Yeah, but we're done. We have nothing left of I us know, to give today. I know, we're, but... we're, we're kind of spent. Um, but, uh, let's see, what was the thing? Oh, yeah, we had some fun with accents yesterday. It was, it was pretty amusing. Yeah. Uh, while we were mixing, um, some of the, some of the, um... Thin set. Thin set, we, and We're uh, just gonna finish each other's sentences, because one brain isn't enough, right? Yes! Now. Collectively, <laughs> we, we have uh, one brain right trails now. off. And Collectively, <laughs> we have one brain at the moment. Because, I mean, like, all of it was, t I mean, it's, it takes a lot of brain power to get, to get, um, tile working and looking like this. Um, okay, so well, we're two of us in this bathtub. I feel like we might have sucked all the oxygen out of this room. Mm. It's, it's a lot of humans to be in one bathtub for an extended period of time. True, true. <laughs> Fans over here, thanks for the inspiration. Oh, thank you. Where's that? This oh, is. Oh, hey, hey. Uh, okay. It's, it's hard to. It's it's hard without um without some of the um, pictures and stuff. But recognize some of these names from uh from comments left on the blog. So. Thank you guys for joining us. Um, so, okay, so we're mentally spent, and um, we've done that, we've repeatedly said that, but the other thing is that we also were doing accents last night. It was hilarious. Um, I have a friend who uh, was attempting a Midwestern accent. Taco. <laughs> That's how you do <laughs> it, Kansan. by the way. Wisconsin yeah. and taco. You don't do, I can't even do it. <laughs> <laughs> don't you know? It was yeah. so Irish. It was like it, it was like don't you know? But it came out Irish of all things. It was things. totally like, Irish. It was hilarious. Um, and then what was the next thing that got said? Oh, it was like oh yeah or something like that. And then um, all of a sudden I feel like it's it like Canada. morphed into all of more all of a sudden it morphed into like Scottish, and then kind of like Lucky Charms ish, like a uh, leprechaun like. Uh, it was it so was apparently to all of us in the Midwest, we're leprechauns. Mm -hmm. Well, according to wondering. according to my one friend from <laughs> Georgia, I mean, uh, a, a a guy from Georgia trying to attempt a Midwestern accent, Taco. and then it comes and then it comes out Irish, and then it comes out Scottish. That was pretty funny. State are you in? Michigan right now. I'm normally in Georgia, uh, but right now we're in Michigan working on Kit's farm. Well, people give a shit for the Midwestern accent, but I will <laughs> say I've heard, which this is probably totally untrue fact that you read on the internet that like newscasters try to sound like this region in is the most like non yeah flat hmm. Minnesota <laughs> See, that was weird too what I just did I just you just can't we can't Minnesota all right there it is you did it you did it you're yeah, right I do okay sometimes Wisconsin Wisconsin <laughs> yeah Wisconsin. Um, I got a lot of practice growing up, uh, listening to lots and lots of relatives with uh, the Wisconsin with the accent. Wisconsin, Wisconsin accent. accent. And I mean, I used to get fun of. I used to get made fun of when I was growing up because there's certain words that even when you grew up in, like, say, in the South, um, when you have uh, parents, and I get made fun of this all the time. I I call people Yankees. I really do. When you have Yankee parents, like I do. Um, then uh, sometimes you will start pronouncing certain words the way that they taught you to how to pronounce them, even though you're from a different region. So, like, I grew up in Atlanta, Crayons. for example. What's a word that you say? Crayons. Yeah, you yeah. say it that way. Um, but, like, um, like, Wisconsin. Like, I never learned how to say it a different way. I always say it with a little bit of an accent, and I always get made fun of every time I say it. So your model house is all over. No. No, um, I am actually from Atlanta, and I'm visiting Kit. Uh, Kit has a farm here. In Michigan, and I almost said Minnesota. <laughs> Minnesota. Technically, we remodel <laughs> houses where we live. Like we, so yeah. I, well, I've done three now, but not on purpose. I always think I'm going to live in that house forever until it gets done. But I, I am going to live in this one for much of ever now. Yeah. So I, I bought my house down, uh, down in Atlanta, in the Atlanta area, and I've been remodeling it for about five, almost five and a half years now. And um, so I just. 
Kit and I, we've, we met online and we've always been interested in remodeling and stuff like that and we just have not actually met in person until now. And so I came for a visit up to Black Feather Farm uh, to, Mich uh, to Michigan and I have been basically pushing Kit into finishing some projects because neither of us she are very good. She walked the house and she was like, we're fucking finishing something in this something, house before Something I go. we're finishing. All right, That's all right. I'm so glad. Full bathroom run it. Um, she, well... Getting, Ooh, whoa. we're having thunderstorms and we might lose power. So that'll be an interesting end to this. Sudden this is not a full bath. It was, a, let me tell you what happened. Last, this, I tore out the master bathroom. We're not in the master bathroom. We're in the guest bath. Uh, and then I was like, that's going to take way too much time. And I just want a bathtub in this house. I have another full bath in the downstairs. Um, and so I, and it had a gross ass tub that didn't, was horrible in it. And I said, okay, I'm not redoing the bathroom. I'm just going to swap out the tub. And then I swapped out the tub, but the old tub was a non-standard size, so this was, this, then I had to move this wall here, and then when I took out the floor tile, the floor subfloor was rotted, so it basically turned, like any other DIY project, that started out as a little project that was going to be done really it's quick. Now it's now been a year, and basically a fall, I mean, I should have just tore it down to the studs, but instead I made it, like, a lot harder. Yeah, so we're, we're not related, um, <laughs> y'all. love y'all. Fantastic. She's a y'all. You're a yaller. Yeah. I, I don't always say y'all. I um since I grew up, I, I actually got in trouble a lot when I was growing uh, up, like say, trying to say y'all. Love the story of getting good rid of the old. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> getting rid of the old tub. Yes. Okay. So um so yeah I uh, there's certain words that I actually still don't say. Um I don't really. Uh, I grew up in the south since I was like two, but um I really don't have a lot of southern habits. Like I don't eat grits. I don't. I noticed um, I ate grits yesterday. Yeah, and we were talking about grit it. Grit cake. What were they? Grit cakes? Grit cakes, yes. They're pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, they're pretty good. There's a, but there's a lot of southern foods that I actually don't eat. Um, I eat a lot of Italian food. Uh, <laughs> Who does it? Probably from. <laughs> probably from my. Uh, <laughs> my. Uh, I would like I to know, find a my, person who doesn't like Italian food. What doesn't a, like Italian food. Yeah, a, I just I just grew up eating a lot of it. Yeah, I mean it was just kind of tradition. I mean like when your grandmother makes homemade so, homemade sauce. I mean you just you just kind of amen, sister. You just eat it. It's um, probably why we look alike. We were raised on the same food. Yeah, and sauce and meatballs. Yeah, yeah. Um, so. <laughs> Sauce and meatballs. I don't know. There was a balls joke in there somewhere, and I just can't find. I don't have enough brain power to find it. We were funnier yesterday. <laughs> I was drunker yesterday. <laughs> See now that's that's better. So well, I mean, sometimes I get into that goofy, tired state where I, like everything is actually funny. To yeah. Me, and then I just laugh at really, really. But we're stuff like this. Was, yeah, we're like. But at a different tired state right now. Yeah, I slept pretty hard last. I don't even know if people want to look at. I just made a face. I saw it on this that. Should definitely be screenshotted for posterity. <laughs> what did you do? I don't know. It was horrible. <laughs> I couldn't even believe that my face could do that. Hmm. So, um, uh, I, I don't know what I was going to say now. I, I shocked myself out of it by seeing that face. Okay. If you have any questions, go ahead and, and, and ask them because we've been trying to come up with other questions to ask each other um, since yesterday, since we went over quite a few yesterday and the day before. Oh, I know what I was going to say when what? you said you had your house for five years. Yeah. And the surprising thing to me was, so Sarah's been working on her house pretty much continuously and has been blogging about it for yeah. that long. So we're like chatting because this is what we do. We talk about our next projects on our house and you listed off like five more years worth of projects. I was thinking like, I'm oh, really she's going to be getting close to be getting done, you know, cause I know all of the things that she's done and you... You listed off quite a haul still. Of things. Yeah, I have a very ambitious year ahead planned. Uh, finished bathroom? Close, close. Um, we have everything but one stupid ass tile that we are missing at the time. <laughs> um, that was clearly not my fault. I arrived where all of the materials were supposed to be here. This is um, my shame face, just so you know. <laughs> um, but uh, we have one, just one missing tile, and then we we actually still have the bottom row and like one other piece that we have to shape. It looks um, so much better. I wish there was yes, some way to show it you guys a picture guys. Um, of what it looked like before. In the morning, I'm gonna take some better pictures because I'll also probably red cabinets. You remember from you my know? old cabinets? That was my favorite thing ever. I miss those cabinets so much. I'm not gonna paint them red in this house, uh, but. That was like my, in my very first house, my very first thing I did is I painted my cabinets red and then I, and I loved them and then I 
broke my house. All the pipes froze and there was waterfall and all those cabinets went away. So I had a red cabinet for like two months. Oh, that's I sad. know. And then I saved all the cabinets because, well, you, as one does, I used them for my workshop in the basement. Mm -hmm. um, God, it was so fun. So, so oh, uh, one of the things that I was going to um, hint at is that um, I'm taking a couple of pictures, and you guys are going to catch this on the blog eventually. Um, when I get back home, I am taking a couple of pictures to uh, kind of say this is what I would do if this were my house. Uh, a couple of, like, I'm going to probably try and Photoshop it a little bit of, like, Okay, in this area, this is what I would do if it were if it were my place. Because um, we've already talked about She's a couple like, of things, and I've given her some suggestions. And, I mean, because she asked me for suggestions, and I gave them to her. She goes, mm, I don't think I'm going to do that. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to <laughs> just instead that. Photoshop it and do exactly, and like Photoshop it exactly how I would do it, just because I think it would Control be kind of cool. Free. <laughs> <laughs> None of your suggestions I said I wouldn't do. Uh, you, you I just, talked about You had a face. Like, mm, I don't think I was so. I was thinking. It was a thinking face. But no, it's okay. It's totally okay. Because, I mean, like, <laughs> regardless, I think it'd be fun just to, like, because everybody... And it's fun when you see someone's face? Yeah. To think about how you would do it. How, how you, you would do, do it, it differently. Yeah. yeah. Because, I mean, like, even though... I mean, there could be plenty of suggestions that actually look all awesome. But um, I could show you my take on Kit's house. And then someday, when, she, when I actually have a guest bedroom to sleep in... Um, you know, and other projects to... I'm going to have to come in reciproc reciprocally tile something at her house when she's working. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to... I'll, gonna, be I'll, done I'll do something else. I think I'll probably be done I'll with skim all the coat. I know you're anything. fucking done with the skim coating in your life. Yeah, and I'm... I mean, like, once I'm done with the kitchen, though, I'm done with skim coating at all in the house. That's I don't amazing. really need to do any more of it. Um, so that's going to be quite nice. Um, you could help me with the built-ins in the living room. I'm, I'm definitely there, not anywhere close to... Finishing that I'm gonna need to like I need to drive down with my tools in the back of my mobile workshop. Yeah, <laughs> and then we'll have two of we'll everything. Create a mobile workshop. Yeah, mm -hmm. I actually saw the best mobile workshop. I'll have to put. It's stupid to talk about it because I can't show it. Mm -hmm. um, but there were actually I was uh, when I was writing for Life Hacker, I did a post on it, which I'll find. This guy has designed the most incredible, like mobile all the way all the. Um, Things fit in his trailer and then pull out, like, and create, you can create a workshop anywhere. It is an incredible feat of engineering. Ooh. Incredible. Ooh. I'll Maybe post that actually, somewhere yeah. so that you guys can see it because it was, like, Maybe it'll actually give you more ideas things. for what to do with my one-car garage. Yeah. Skim coating is worth it with your grandma's painting up there. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um. Looks so good. Yeah. Um, that painting means a lot to me. And actually, um, what I've, uh, what you guys may not have spied is that um, there's actually some damage on that painting, um, and it's because of Charlie. And um, oh, no. she, uh, it was kind of really lousy. Uh, do you use Pinterest for different ideas? Yes. Um, I, I definitely scroll Pinterest, Pinterest a lot just for kind of inspiration um, when it comes to how long to start to finish did it take you to tile the tub? Well... Um, Okay, so Answer half the of this Pinterest was kind question. of... Okay, the, the Pinterest question first. Okay, yeah. <laughs> the Pinterest thing, I get, yes, I do get a lot of um, inspiration from Pinterest. I check um, it regularly, just when I have like a random spark of an idea and I'm kind of trying to formulate exactly how I want to bring it together. Usually I'll take um, six or seven different uh, different ideas and can try and combine them if I'm inspired by something from Pinterest. So usually I never find exactly what I'm looking for on it. Like, and, but I do find that visually it's a better search than Google for a lot of the things mm -hmm. that I'm looking for. So, um, you know, keyword search on there is actually very, very useful. Um, people have been saying lately that the algorithms and stuff have changed on it so that it's not really quite showing you what you're looking for sometimes, but I still haven't yet to, found that to be the case when I'm, when I'm searching pretty hard for. So if I'm, like, looking for, like, greenhouse ideas or, you know, some kind of, you know, writing shed ideas or... A, um, a like a butcher block countertop or a laundry room countertop. I'm, I get very very hyper specific on it, and so that that way I'm not scrolling through hundreds of thousands of photos because I find that that's a huge waste of my time. It's funny. I did. I made a uh, decision when I started pinning things on Pinterest. Like I have a board that's just interior spaces. I won't separate it out by bathrooms or. I'm almost the opposite of you, like where you hyper specific search. Mm -hmm. I clump everything together because sometimes like a color scheme or like the way something worked in a bathroom 
might inspire an idea for a kitchen and I got worried that I was gonna like segment myself too much mm -hmm. but then you know it's like one bat massive yeah board that's, of that's shit. really the problem with it I mean like I I get very very specific about my boards and it's because of the fact that um, I heard a long long time ago that when you are a designer um, a lot of the times what they do is uh, you know magazine tear sheets like they would tear out pictures from stuff that they're inspired by um, in a magazine and eventually what they just basically do is they take all of those different sheets about a particular room that they're inspired by and they just put it in a pile and then when you start looking through that entire pile what you'll start to notice is certain themes and patterns and like hey I didn't realize this necessarily but it seems like I like white furniture or I like pops of color in various different rooms mm -hmm. of like blue and yellow and you may not actually notice that right away and so by collecting all of that together and then looking at it as a whole, you'll start to notice those little pretty patterns to kind of pick up, okay, overall, I like, you know, like, um, dark, uh, I like, I seem to like white cabinets with, uh, dark, uh, like, black or, uh, oil rub bronze, uh, fixtures and stuff like that. And if you notice those kinds of things, then that's the kind of thing that you can write down and kind of compile into a list together. You can pin bathroom phone on a kitchen board if that's what the photo inspires. Absolutely, you can. You can, but I want. I think I feel a little bit like I don't know. Like I know I like it, but I don't know what in the future I'm going to be looking at. So I just do. I literally I I separate by interiors and exteriors because there's like a whole lot of architectural exterior stuff, mm -hmm. and then all house interiors I put on one thing, and then uh, like that, and then I look at that for any room, and then and then what I will do is if I have a specific like thought in mind for a bathroom, not this one, this was just a shit show of putting mm -hmm. things together, I'll pin to a specific board for my house for that room. Yeah. This is a lot of talk about Pinterest. I know. I it's didn't really expect it that. It doesn't require that much thought. <laughs> but also, when I organize my boards, I, I organize them by room. <laughs> <laughs> When I, uh, I mean, just watch, we'll just go. Like, just start us in a path animal. and we're like, energize your bunny and going. I think we could, we could go <laughs> forever. Right. What was the next question that got asked? Uh, how long it took to tile the tubs for? Oh, okay. So I've so the two of us have been working on the tile since Wednesday. So I would say Night. it was five hours with two of us Wednesday. Four hours with two of us on Wednesday. Right. Then okay. you worked how many hours today? I started at one thirty and I got done around four. So three more hours with you, and then we pick back up at like. Nine, ten, and twelve. So three more hours with the two of us. Someone figure out the math on the man hours for that. <laughs> it's eight, nine, so ten, between, eleven. Yeah. S -s 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 yeah. Wine break. <laughs> Just can sit here with this like this. <laughs> oh, it's 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 her comfort now. It is like my, my teddy bear. Um. So uh, here's what it is. It's not a weekend project for one person. This is the second time I've done this. And the, and I keep saying, oh, if I just focus for a weekend, I'll get it done. No. First of all, the human body really can't stay cramped in a bathtub for an entire weekend. Yeah, it's, my back was pretty sore yesterday. Uh, uh, and then with two of us, it was a little quicker because one of us was going to cut a lot yeah. in the other room while we were. Uh, so, mm, I mean, I'm saying bare minimum, you're looking at 20 hours, just the tile. There was a whole other series of time that for doing the backer board, which what I did here, there's like 10 different ways you can do this. First round was a um, cement board, like tile board with a rolled on um, water membrane over it. Mm -hmm. And then the tile on top of that. So getting the backer board and, and everything in place was a whole other series of steps that happened last fall. And then there will be grouting. Yes. And then there's also, today. I mean, there's, there's a good amount of cleanup that's going to have to happen once we get done here. Coming in late, did you use epoxy grout? No, no grout yet. We haven't. We, uh, I mixed uh, like a. Uh, so these are porcelain tiles, and so I used uh, like a porcelain thin set that has the you know add mix in it already. But we hand mixed that, and then I'll use a. It won't be an epoxy grout. It'll be like a sanded polymer grout. Oh, and by the way, um, I have, we right. have not, um, we actually, you know, hand mixed the, uh, the thin set itself, and uh, I just recently heard about a pre-mixed one that's approved and made for using in wet areas like showers. Most of the time, the pre-made stuff you can't use in wets, in specific wet areas. 
and membrane over. No, there's it's actually like double the root. There's two different ways you can do it. So this is like going to be a long and probably stupid explanation, but you can um, so tile board and tile water will get through that. That's not waterproof. So the two ways that people do it, two or, I'll say three. One of them is you can put. Um, uh, roofing felt like tar paper behind the backer board and the idea is that water weeps through there hits that that uh, um, I'm losing my words what I call it Sand tar paper grout. tar paper and then it's goes not, yeah it's not grouted yet but there's gonna be sand yeah grout. I sand grout I, I sand grout and these are uh, uh, these are an eighth of an inch you can sand grout an eighth of an inch if it's a sixteenth of an inch I think you have to use an epoxy but this is gonna be totally fine uh, and I prefer it. I, I, I'm not a huge fan of epoxy grouts. Um, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna loop back. So you can you can you can do a um, tar paper backer board and then uh, and then tile on top of it. The other way you can do it is just backer board, no no uh, felt paper behind it. And then this, what I did was a roll on water mem mem membrane. Um, and the third way you can do it is use like a curdy system or a, or a, where you could actually, they say you can do this over straight drywall, um, you gl essentially glue on a piece of felt paper and uh, that's awesome. <laughs> but it wasn't double the protection is the reason why I said that. It's not, it's not, it's just, it would have been actually probably overkill to a poor degree if I had done it both ways. Thank you. We'll see if it is or not. <laughs> um, okay. But, okay, so, <laughs> you're poor. She, her brain spent. Mm -hmm. um, okay, are there any more questions about the tile itself? Someone mentioned something on there that oh, I missed about using a specific rock. Oh, uh, grout. Was it a grout? No, I think it's, I think that what I saw was spectra rock. Something like that? Oh, for the board? I, I it's know. not something I've heard of. Before. There's like 8,000 different ways to put a, put a thing up correctly and incorrectly for that matter. So I know. I'm sure that I've done at least 10 of the incorrect ways to do something. Um, the, uh, I just recently heard from my uncle who's been, um, some of you may be familiar with my uncle. Uh, yeah, Spectralock. Spectralock. I yeah, just Spectralock. don't know what it is. Thank you. I don't know what it is. It's not a grout. It's a, it's a backer board. I, I can Google it. I have Google. It must be some kind of. <laughs> Later on. All right. Um, okay, so one of the things I wanted to mention is that my uncle mentioned to me, I haven't seen it in Lowe's or Home Depot yet, um, is that they recently have been making and releasing in certain like big box stores a, a new kind of um, like, uh, tile mortar that's actually approved for working in wet areas. I have not seen it yet. I have not used it yet. But he told me about it, and he told me that it's awesome, and considering how long that he's been in the business, I definitely trust his judgment, and he says that it's pretty great. Um, it's, I think he called it Ultra Mortar or something like that. Like, it had, like, an Ultra name in it or something like that, and it's supposed to be for every situation, and it's pre-mixed. And so I actually thought that was that sounded kind of cool because I'm a big fan, at least when it came to putting the backsplash in my kitchen and in my laundry room. I'm a big fan of pre-mixed stuff because then you just open the bucket and get going. I do have to wonder how many buckets it would take to do this stuff because I've used. Well, what we use? Right. The bags are cheaper. Mix, we use. The bags are cheaper for sure. Yeah. It's a seven dollar bag or something. You can just like yeah, go to town. Yeah. And you don't. I mean, I have not ever used an entire bag yeah. in the stuff that I've had to mix before. I mean, I always seem to, I, I mean, between between different projects, I always seem to run out. But um, yeah, so if you guys uh, have any other questions, um, go ahead and ask. But I think that because it's 1230 and Kit and I have been We're tiling all day, fade into the... we're definitely fading for sure. And given how much Kit fell yesterday, I don't trust. I fear buckets going dry on me. Yeah, I would too, except for, I mean, typically I don't experience that based on the fact that I don't usually stop until the bucket's like done. I mean, there's really this not doesn't as, surprise as much me. in there. <laughs> I, um, I, uh, the trick somewhat, so for joint compound, which I don't know if it would work the way um, that, uh, that with a, out of words, with a tile adhesive, the same way it does with this, but I'll take um, saran wrap and put it down inside the bucket, 
So oh, like, yeah. that's pretty good. Smush too. everything down, put saran wrap in, and then put the lid over it. That's the best thing I've found to keeping things from drying out like that. But I still agree with you. I, I say that, like I do it like I'm an organized person, but really I work till I get tired and then I go to bed and then four days later I remember I left the lid off of the thing. I do that often too. <laughs> so wait, now and then I have a 40 pound But whenever it comes to DIY shit. projects, I, I am a very big fan of convenience. So sometimes I just, you know, say screw it and I just go with the time sucks. Good night. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, okay, so I think we're going to wrap this up, and we're just going to go to bed. But, um, well, I'm going to go to bed for sure. Um, and then I Thank you. would say go ahead and follow us. Um, Kit has just joined Periscope. I did. It's at Kit Liz, K-I-T-L-I-Z. So, all it, it's basically just going to be the donkeys all the time because I'm not as interesting when Sarah's not here talking about stuff. <laughs> But the I mean, donkeys are. <laughs> okay, so yeah, um, the donkeys were cool. I hope you guys enjoyed the chickens earlier today. If you guys managed to see that, and if you haven't, definitely check them out because the chickens are hilarious. They're very amusing. They tried to drink my chicken coffee this morning. So um, that's all I need is fucking chickens on coffee. <laughs> they would literally take over the entire farm. Well, one of them definitely tried to eat one of your candles. And I then know. They just, and then they decided that they hated that and then tried to scrape all of the wax off yeah, their beak. They get it on there and then they're like, <laughs> Okay, so when I start amazing. imitating a chicken on camera, I'm at my limit. Screenshot. Yes, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you guys for watching. But um, we will, uh, this is my last night on Black Brother Farms. So I'm going to take lots of pictures, hopefully, in the morning before I leave. Nice. The chickens were great. Small farm tour is nice. Kit needs to do a video of farmland. I will. She, she I'm going to do does. it on the Kitapillar. We'll all ride around together oh, yes. on the golf cart. Yes, I have some shots from that I took while we were on the Kitapillar and we drove around. And driving. <laughs> on my property, it's legal. <laughs> this doesn't make it smart. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I have some, I have some uh, uh, pictures from when we were just driving around and, you know, pictures of just muck mm -hmm. boots and beautiful grass. And I... I mean, I honestly was thinking, man, I could get used to this. I'm a city girl, but man, the farm was fun. You should, can just so, come visit any time, though. It's like the best of both worlds. Yeah, I'll come out here and take a, take small vacations and work on a project and paint something. And and then, uh, you know, Kit will get more of her house done and I'll, I don't years. know. I'll get, I'll get, It'll be years. I'll be fulfilled from, uh, from, you know, farm breaks and stuff. I'll get out of the city <laughs> more often. Okay, so uh, thanks, you guys, for watching, and uh, thank you guys and for, for watching. And for following along this crazy week. I know. We, um, these past couple nights that you guys have tuned into have been a awesome, lot of fun. It's been we've, late. we've actually had a really good time um, here and also, like, answering questions. Maybe we'll periscope really well. quick. Maybe I'll do it for the first time from Worst Bar tomorrow. Oh, yeah, we can do that. We'll show you guys really good food. My ex-boyfriend has a bar called The Worst Bar. But it's really the best bar because it's W U R S T. And I'm looking forward I to it. I only date clever men, guys. <laughs> we're going to, on the way to the airport, we're going to stop there for lunch for nacho tots and burgers and things. So maybe we'll show you something from inside there. There's a huge chalkboard that I built in that place still. So Yeah, so that's one of the things. And I'm a bearded to. dude. He might, maybe we can get him to make an appearance. I do like bearded dudes. I do <laughs> Alright, All right, guys. Okay, good night, guys. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to follow. And um, also, if you, uh, and the way that you do that, I, I learned before that the way that you do that is you swipe up on uh, iOS devices and it'll show you like a prompt for following. And then you can also swipe, I think, left to right on Android devices and it'll have like a little follow button or something there. So you guys can do that. Um, and uh, if you're watching this on replay, you can still heart, like you can still tap the screen to heart and stuff like that. I'm, I'm just still learning uh, Periscope, so we're learning how this goes. Thank you guys very much for the hearts. Thank you guys for um, tuning in. We are going to try and do this, I think, more often if we can I learn catch, to I feel like the, the hearts, I just it. realized I could like puck with them on the thing. Yeah, look. It's like magic. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> can I make a mustache out of it? <laughs> This is what we're saying. I gotta go so to bed, tired. you guys. I really so tired. Bed. It's like the cat. <laughs> they're just tired. We're not even drinking. No, we're totally. <laughs> we're totally, totally. This sober. is we're sinking, sinking into the love. <laughs> and out of sight. Okay, we gotta end okay. this. Or it's we gotta go end this. Forever. This is just, this is just too I good. love you all. This is fantastic. Thank, Thank you, guys. You for this. Thank you very much. Good night. Uh, send us. 
tweets and stuff about what yeah. you thought, I guess, in the broadcast. We'll and try we'll to do more. Because I think we'd love tomorrow. to do, I'd love yeah. to do more Skyping or something like this yeah. on a regular basis. That would be cool. Because I think yeah. this is a lot of fun. All right. Good night, guys. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. All right. got to figure out how to, I always have, I always screw this There's part There's this weird <laughs> part at the end where it's super awkward. I know. Time. Super awkward because I have to find the stupid button. They need to make this part easier. They really do. You okay. need to be able to do it with a hand signal. I know. Done. <laughs> Is it on? Is it-